everyone. So, um, this is the second part of my first uh, soft spoken video. I am reading to you uh, chapter three from this beautiful book called Animal Speak by Ted Andrews. Let me just flip through the book pages for you guys because I know how enjoyable this is. In fact, um, uh, page flipping is to me one of the most uh, delicious and enjoyable things that I love about sound videos. I, I discovered sound videos not too long ago, I think maybe a month ago, and I was from the beginning amazed, amazed at that, that there existed such a thing as ASMR videos. Um, finally I felt that I was, that I had found home because uh, I have always have been a, a person that um, that enjoyed a lot, um, you know, feeling textures. Like when I when I watch myself, someone who's doing a sound video, um, flipping the pages, or playing with with some stuff. I really, it's as if I can, I am, you know, the stuff. I can feel what the person is feeling at that moment when he or she is um, flipping through the pages or, or playing with whatever stuff he or she is playing with and it's just uh, it's it's nice if you're such a person who gets these um, bodily sensations from uh, watching these type of videos then it's just amazing, and it really is. Okay, so let's get back to what I was reading to you. Here we are now. So, where were we? Um, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, some of the changes were subtle. Quiet contemplation shifted to masks of stoicism and eyes became vacant and unreadable once more. Other changes were not so subtle. Some students began to fidget. Conversations began once more, but no longer were they light-hearted and focused on the fun of the zoo. Some suddenly seemed to be embarrassed by their own behavior at the zoo and their childlike excitement over the animals. They began posture to the others on the bus and play it off. Some were quietly nervous with eyes darting, searching the faces of others to discover if the day's childlike release would come back to haunt them. Smiles disappeared, and there were even a few eyes that were moist. It was a moment of sweet sadness. The trip had created a memory that they would be able to draw upon the rest of their lives. 
but it also reminded them of how different the world was than they had ever perceived it. It reminded them that there was so much to be discovered outside of the neighborhood. It was then that I realized they had truly experienced a kind of culture shock. They were not prepared for the immersion into the strange animal world. Yes, they knew what zoos were, and they had seen animal and zoo depictions on television, but it was not the same. Their experience stirred wonder, bewilderment, and even disorientation, but it also triggered a new reading of their present reality. The world was no longer the same. It no longer was confined to the concrete and sidewalks of the city's neighborhoods. It was much greater and more complex than they had ever imagined, and this scared them. Although this is a somewhat extreme situation, but not uncommon, it did reveal that most people have distorted perceptions of the natural world. Animals are alien life forms to most people. Their behaviors and activities appear strange, mysterious, and entirely disconnected to human life. The wrong assumptions about animals and the natural world abound in today's society. Probably the most mysterious and thus the most misunderstood aspect of the natural world is the mystery of predator and prey. Most assume when you mention predator and prey that the reference is to those who kill and those who are killed. The truth is that in the animal world most fall in between these two extremes. Sometimes the predator is also the prey. A snake will swallow a frog, but then it is plucked up and eaten by a red-tailed hawk. When we study the process of predator and prey and learn of its natural and spiritual significance, our misconceptions begin to crumble. We begin to understand that there is a power and magic in the animal world, especially in its relationship to us. We begin to realize that every species is linked to every other animal and human in the ecosystem in staggering ways. So, everyone, 
This was my first attempt at making a soft spoken sound video. I really hope that you liked it. Um, I did. It was fun. And um, I plan on doing more because it's, as I said before, I am just absolutely amazed by the, these videos. So um, tell me what you think and um, have an amazing day, okay? Wherever you are. Okay, bye.